Hi, in this video, I will show you how to configure the MTP server. Okay, and this and these are what we need. I have my router here. Okay, and cable. This is a crossover cable because this is from router to router or router to router communication. And the other end of this cable of the crossover cable we will uh, insert this to fa01 of this 2811 router there. that's it okay this is connected directly to the internet and this will be also my uh, dns server okay Let's see the diagram. All right. In the previous video, we configured the FTP server, done, and the DHCP server. Now we are here in NTP server configuration. This is the setup. We have a router here and switch. And we are not moving around to disconnect the console cable and connect to the router and back to the switch because we can tell that we already we already configured the IP address okay of these devices so we can tell that to the device and now we add another cable okay that cable is. our internet let me draw like this and this is my ISP okay that is my internet internet service provider also it is configured as my DNS okay so this is the setup and Alright, so far this is the setup and let's go and configure the NTP server. Alright, let's configure the router for MTP server. I'm now inside of R1 and let's see the time, time clock or the clock settings show clock. Looks like it is right my time now is 753 and july 16 2018 okay for the purpose of our uh, configuration for M ntp server i will show you how to set up the clock although this is a very basic but this is part of our configuration so from the privilege mode the clock set that is the command clock set and the clock now is currently 756 that is 1956 all right and july 16 2018 so that is the command next is to configure the time zone you should check your time zone my time zone here because i'm here in oman that is utc4 i'm using a time zone utc4 so the clock so i have to be inside of the global configuration mode so configure terminal this is the command clock give me some space there clock time zone utc4 okay and next is we will configure the fa01 as our gateway to the internet so interface fa01 and uh, we don't have to put an ip address here we should use the dhcp ip 
address DHCP. So meaning we're going to get IP address or dynamic host configuration protocol from our uh, router, ISP router. And of course, no shutdown. Okay, exit from there. And next is we need to configure the IP route. IP route, default IP route, 0000. zero, zero, zero. Oops. The next hop is 192.168.8.1. All right. And last is the NTP server. Hit the question mark. NTP server is yes. So type. My NTP server is 66.220.9.122. So please check your NTP server if you are located in Muscat. So this is my connection or my NTP server 666.220.9.122. Hit the enter key and there you go. Let's save the configuration. Copy running config startup config. Startup config. And let's verify show. Yeah, show run. NTP. And we have the NTP server. Uh, configured to our router show IP route and this is our static IP route okay show clock okay show run so we can see all the configuration. Time zone is there. IP route and NTP server. So that's the end of the configuration for the NTP server. Next is the CME configuration or the telephony service configuration up next.